Hey Vinyl Community, it's Mike the All Retentive uh, with a bunch of stuff to show today. Um, three or four different stores and uh, something in the mail. So I'm going to start off with Gary Schwartz. Um, back, wow, it was probably early on. Uh, Gary sent, um, sent me a copy of this single, I Really Like You. Um, um, show it again, why not? So it's on a uh, really nice blue vinyl. Really cool. Nice track. And he has a new one. Ugh. Put that away later. Sorry, Gary. <clears throat> uh, this one's not a vinyl, but it is released on CD. This one is called It Just Is. Uh, it's a very personal song, I would say, um, by Gary. Uh, he sent me a copy of this, and I am woefully late in getting uh, getting to show it out. Show it here. Uh, great track, Gary. Really liked it. Um, in fact, <laughs> I had this playing in kind of a, a loop. Uh, in my car for several days. It just kept playing over and over again. Uh, this is available. Uh, I'll put a link down below to where you can pick a, pick up a copy of this. Um, Gary Schwartz. Yeah, I really, I, I really dug it, Gary. Any intention of putting this in vinyl? Probably not, but in case you do, let me know. <laughs> And I really appreciate you sending me this. It was really nice. So it took me so long to uh, remark about it on my videos. But I've only made like three videos in the past like two months. It's pretty been kind of slim pickings. So. Yep. So Gary Schwartz plays drums here on this. So it's really good. Check it out if you can. Uh, again, I'll put the links down below. Thank you, Gary. Uh, let's see. So I made a trip to a place called the Frugal Muse, um, which is where I, w I sold my clocks for a while. Um, and they have a, well, increasingly getting bigger, but, uh, you know, maybe a hundred or so, 200 records in a little rack. And I happened to find this one there, George Thorogood. This is about, you know... Uh, I drink alone, I think when he got to get a haircut and get a real job or whatever, I, I don't know. I didn't care for that. A little too hokey for me. So I think this is kind of the end of the line for me and the George Cyril good, but uh, everything, this one and everything prior to this uh, are fantastic, of course. Yeah, this has I Drink Alone, Long Gone, Crawling King Snake. It's good stuff. So pick that up. Maverick. And a copy of Green River. CCR. Uh, this album kind of blew my mind. Uh, I got it because I went to see uh, American Werewolf in London. Man, how long ago was that? But they featured uh, Bad Moon, the song Bad Moon Rising in that movie. And I was like, wow, maybe I like Green's Clearwater well. So I ended up getting this from the library, uh, and I dug it. You know, not I. I like the ones I play on the radio, but the, what I really like are the ones I don't play on the radio, which is, you know, well, a lot of most of these have been heard on the radio, but I guess the less, the least uh, overplayed ones are my favorite. <laughs> so pick that up. Uh, then I went to, put this pile over there, uh, I went to Half Price Books and I picked up a couple. So I recently picked up that first solo Gary Newman album, um, and this is one that I originally owned a long time ago, and so when I saw this one I'm like, gotta have it. And this is of course the one that has cars on it. Uh, 
And then I picked up George Harrison Dark Horse. Uh, I actually didn't know anything about this album. Ugh, my neighbor is using his leaf blower while I'm doing my video, so hope that doesn't pick up very loud. But uh, yeah, this is this is a good album. All glorious to Sri Krishna, Krishna. So uh, interestingly, uh, it's like somebody ate this for lunch. Uh, anyway, interestingly, they also had a copy of Ravi Shankar. Uh, this is on the worldwide label, I think, right? A oh, World Pacific. I couldn't leave Ravi Shankar behind. Uh, P.S. Uh, Helmut Diggy, I've been listening to the uh, Ravi Shankars that you sent me. They're really good. Thank you again for that. Oh, God, he's done. Okay, cool. Um, this one is called Ragas and Talas. Ravi Shankar Sitar Ali Raka on the Tabla. So I've never seen this one before, so I'm going to grab that. And last but not least, uh, we have uh, some records that I picked up at a record store in downtown Madison. Uh, I don't really get to downtown Madison shopping and such very often, but when I do go down there, um, I always see this record store called Earwax. And I uh, picked up some of their stickers. So traditionally, earwax is one of your more uh, hardcore record stores, meaning they, uh, you know, uh, thrash, punk, uh, death metal, you name it. When I went to, <laughs> I went to get my friend uh, Dalton um, as kind of a joke, but uh, he wanted a G.G. Allen pin. And uh, I knew <laughs> I knew that they had that stuff down there, so I went down there and and uh, picked them up a pin. Uh, that's the kind of stuff you can find there, you know, patches for your denim jacket and whatnot. So it was kind of funny that I would find these next two items there because they're not really didn't really fit the store, you know, but they had stuff here and there. So uh, I, I found this for two bucks. Psychedelic Furs is not uh, a group that they normally handle, but uh, they had this for two bucks. And that's the Ghost in You and Heartbreak, uh, Heartbeat Remix. That is on Columbia. So that was two bucks. And then uh, I found this. Which I'm going to open. Uh, they they had a copy of this is Gary Newman live. I this is it's a back on black colored vinyl edition, so obviously it's a reprint of some sort. But uh, I'd never heard of this album, so I'm like, I gotta get it. And I'm, <laughs> I'm like, is this this is the Gary Newman that I know, right? And I'm like, look, scanning the the song list, right? And I'm like, man, I don't. Oh, here's a couple that I know. Here's Cars and Our Friends Electric. So, I'm like, okay, I know it's him. <laughs> so, I wanted to see the colored vinyl. I thought I'd show it in the video here. So, uh, clearly I haven't listened to this yet. It's from uh, Live at Shepherd's Bush Empire. Oh, I can't hardly read that. Take my word for it. Man, I should have sliced it this way. Dumbass. Uh, so I could keep the shrink on it, but I guess that's not going to happen. Smooth action. Now I can't even get it open. Anyway, this is a... So this is a 2LP colored vinyl set, and it was $15.99. I think largely because they're like, get this out of my store. Oh, cool. It's 
So let's see what kind of vinyl we got here. Ooh, it looks like orange. I guess that fits the album, right? Oh, wow. That's nice. Looks kind of yellowy in the video, but it's orange. Live at Shepherd's Bush, Empire. Hmm. So I'll have to check this one out. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Gary Newman, actually. Uh, oh. www.plastichead.com where you can get your Thin Lizzy t-shirts and hoodies. Hawkwind Saxon hmm. oh, I wonder if there's a download code. Nope. So there's the other record. Equally orange. So cool. I, uh, I'm going to have to check that out. So yeah, I haven't really gone on a serious record buying thing in a while. I just sort of like, oh, I'll just flip through this, this little section and just found some tidbits. So that's what I showed today. And uh, again, uh, below in the comment section will be info on how to get a copy of uh, Gary Schwartz's new, well, it was new probably two months ago when he sent it to me, um, but it the copy of Gary Schwartz's song, It Just Is. So look down below and uh, thanks guys. Talk to you later. Gary, thank you. Bye-bye.